Hi you guys, it's Linnea and it is World Card Making Day. And so of course, Thermal Web is joining in the fun and the celebration and we're doing an Instagram hop. And we are hopping along and we are featuring rainbows. So you're gonna see me using some rainbow deco foil today. And we would love for you to hop along and enter to win the entire rainbow of deco foil transfer sheets. So that's a bunch of colors. And trust me, you want to win this giveaway. I love working with the deco foil transfer sheets. They're some of my favorite products from Thermal Web and Deco Foil. In addition, we would love for you to share any project that you've made using the deco foil transfer sheets. And that is a second way for you to win. So be sure to head over to Instagram. I'll leave a link to my Instagram account down in the video description. You can hop along there and there will be uh, written details about this hop as well. Okay, so to start off with, I have some pieces of just a lightweight cardstock. I think this is 65 or 80 pounds. And I am covering it completely with a piece of iCraft Easy Cut adhesive sheets. And I like to use the six by six adhesive sheets. They are smaller and easy for me to manage in my card making. So I'm just peeling back that release paper and then burnishing this adhesive onto this cardstock with my bone folder. And I'm going to do this twice because I'm going to make two cards. I'll just use my scissors and trim away the excess. And then I will have a sheet of cardstock fit to an A2 size card that's completely covered with this iCraft Easy Cut adhesive. Once I have those pieces of cardstock covered with the iCraft Easy Cut Adhesive, I'm going to take a sheet of the Deco Foil Rainbow Transfer Sheet. This is just a full rainbow of color. It's such a pretty um, foil from Deco Foil. I'm going to remove the adhesive backing and then press these full sheets of cardstock onto that Deco Foil Transfer Sheet. And I will trim away the excess here just to make it more easily manageable for me. Then I will turn this over and I'm going to burnish it. I'm burnishing it here from the back, but it's easier if you do it from the front. Once you flip this around, I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera, but there are a couple little bubbles here and there, and I could definitely see them from the front. Then I will carefully peel back this transfer sheet, and I'm going very slowly. That way, if I miss a spot, there's a bunch of spots where there's just little dots that I missed, I can just easily place that transfer sheet back down and rub that over with my fingers. You wanna make sure not to use anything hard like a bone folder or your fingernails or you'll get little scratches. And you can kind of see here where I got some little scratches in my transfer sheet, but that's not going to matter because I'm going to actually use some embossing folders over this sheet of cardstock that's covered with the foil for a bunch of added texture. So I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers Geometric 3D embossing folders and this comes as a set of two I've had these in my stash for a long time and they're some of my favorite embossing folders because they create valleys and hills and everything in between. So, so pretty this will make. So I'm using my Sizzix Big Shot and I'm altering my sandwich just a little bit. I have my magnetic uh, platform and then just one single cutting pad on top and I will run that right through and that's going to give me enough pressure because this is a thick embossing folder. Since it's a 3D embossing folder, it's thicker than a regular one. So you only need that one top plate. Uh, I'm checking this here carefully to see if the embossing works because if not, I can add a shim. And you'll see me do that for the second piece here. But you can see, look at all that detail. It's so, so fun. And this foil has like a bit of glitter to it. So it's foiled, it's shimmery from that glitter, and then there's all that texture and dimension in there from the embossing folder. So this one's actually going to be my favorite background. I am using the second geometric embossing folder and I'm going to run this one through my die cutting machine just with that one top plate. But I'm going to grab a stack of scrap cardstock that I have. And I have, I think, three pieces here of that 65 pound cardstock and it's just too much. You don't wanna force this through your embossing machine. So I removed one and then it easily went through. So I'm just gonna run that on through just one time and then I will remove that sandwich and you're going to see how gorgeous this embossing folder is. Now, the foil has kind of like a little tack to it 
because I think I use that adhesive sheet. So I just had to kind of peel that out of my embossing folder, but it didn't harm it at all. And check this out. It is so pretty. I love, the one on the right is my favorite and I'd love to know which one is your favorite. So now that that's done, this is going to be the focus of these cards. I really wanted that to be the shining point. So I'm using the Photo Play Mad for Plaid Fall Collection, and there are some 12 by 12 sheets of cardstock, a sticker sheet in there, and I cut down one of the pieces of cardstock that have these little uh, sentiment rectangles on them, and I'm going to use them on my cards because like I said, I want the backgrounds with that rainbow deco foil transfer sheet and the embossing from that 3D embossing folder. I really want that to be my focus. So I have these large sentiment panels, and I'm gluing them onto my embossed deco foil backgrounds with some foam tape just for a little bit of dimension. And then you're going to see me here. I'm going to bring in that sticker collection from the Photo Play Mad for Plaid Fall collection. And I will just pick out some of my favorite stickers. And this took me a long time to do because some of the stickers, you're going to see me try this one here. It was just a little too big for what I wanted. So I will play around with it and pick out the ones that I find are my favorites. And I ended up using a lot of the hearts. I used some of the leaves and then some of the smaller floral clusters. And as I was picking these out, I added some powder to the back from my powder tool that you would use for embossing. And that way I could move these around without them sticking and possibly pulling up my foiled backgrounds. So once I have everything arranged, I added that powder to the back so they're not sticky anymore. So now I just need to use a bit of my favorite liquid adhesive, the iCraft Ultra Bond liquid adhesive to glue these little embellishment pieces down. And that is going to finish these cards. So thank you so much for watching. Remember that ThermalWeb is celebrating World Card Making Day with an Instagram hop. And there are giveaways for participating in the hop as well as for sharing some of your projects using deco foil transfer sheets. I thank you guys again so much for watching. You can head over to my blog for some more still photos and be sure to head over to Instagram. I will leave that link below and I'll see you next time. Bye.